hey y'all, I have some Z-mail I'm gonna share that has been stacking up into this nice, beautiful pile. This mail is from around June, July, 2021, all the way until now. Um, so now it is, it's Halloween, um, October, 2021. That's why it's all nice and spooky around here. So the first three zines I want to share, um, and if I like start a little series, I like to get the first few if they're like, because when I got this, it was on the third, so I can like see where it started and like not be out of the loop. Um, these are The Secret Life of an Asian American Teenager, and I got volume, the first one, and then two and three, a collection of journal entries. My friend on Instagram shared these and I thought they looked awesome, so I decided to check them out. A nice mix of collage art, um, personal stories, pictures, kind of books they're reading, um, really pretty uh, full color, glossy pages, really nice stuff. So that's that. I got, how many is this? Excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six. I got these six zines um, donated by Livermore Zine. Um, I think they're in the UK. Yep, they're in the UK um, for the New Cold Zine Library, so that was cool. They just donated them. I'm pretty sure I connected with them through um, a zine Discord group that I'm a part of. Um, mostly, like, just neat black and white photography, strange abandoned buildings, and just different stuff that they find in the buildings. They have a neat little part at the end where they have um, just like zine news, what they've been watching, and a place for um, little letters if you want to send them a question or a letter. But yeah, those are all pretty cool. So those will be going in the zine library, and I got those in... July. So whenever I get a new zine, I like to put when I got it and where it was from, just for my memory, and it's just kind of cool to know where different stuff comes from. This zine is awesome. I just finally got a chance to start reading it today. Um, started the first part of it. This is Caboose, number 13, The Connection Issue, and I got this zine after going to um, Chicago Zine Club online. They have like a little Zoom call. It's really fun. I went to the Show Us Your Stacks edition, so I like got to show off my little zine library. And I met Liz. She was super nice, and she makes this zine. I hadn't heard about it until then, but it's super popular and really enjoyable so far. And there was one line that I really liked in the beginning intro, and it says, Let's connect by making stuff. I liked that. So I'm making this video. <laughs> so there's that. Um, I got some zines from Nina in Belgium. They've been making zines for a long time. They're pretty awesome. So I got those two little mini zines. I think I got another one from her in this pile. It's a little mixed up, but that's okay. Yeah, same heartbeats. That's by her too. I got these in July. Um, but I traded with them like a long time ago. I have um, an older issue of Same Heartbeats, and this is issue 18. They're they're in a band. That's where I'm at in the zine right now. I got a little mark. Um, they're talking about their band and kind of different stuff they did. This is a 24-hour zine made during the virtual Swansea Zine Fest. Um, so that's cool, but that's their stuff. This is um, a new Perzine by my friend Hannah. Um, it's called Meadow Machine, and this is issue one. It's really awesome how I met Hannah. She came to the first Zine Festival I ever put on in a basement in um, the firehouse where I used to live, and she came like from a couple hours away, and it was really cool. 
and she brought her mom and her mom made a zine and they were just really nice and it was fun and we've kind of um, stayed little pen pal since then and she's come to other zine festivals I put on but this scene's really nice there's pictures there's writing um, Hannah's a really cool writer so definitely recommend checking that out um, Bumpy's house this is cool I this is by Ben Johnson who I found on Instagram don't know how um, during 2020 like during quarantine and just kind of enjoyed watching their stories and seeing what they were doing like art stuff they were working on and when this came out I was excited because I had seen so much stuff they've been working on um, so I got this right away Bumpy's house definitely check them out um, this is sweet crashes zine swap they put together um, a zine swap for lots of different zinesters this was the second one they did um, I didn't get to be a part of the first one but I got to be a part of this one so that was cool they have like all the different people who contributed and their their info there's me new hearts new bins I sent in three zines um, and I think I got three or four back um, so this was from May 2021 I got these three little mini zines this one's a little mini zine stay home zine one from April 2020 oh, that's cool there's some little washi tape in there but yeah I like I like zines a lot about 2020 and just what it was like what you did when you were quarantined at home um, this is rain barrel 2 a lot of like text and writing I haven't got the chance to read this yet um, but I think I definitely remember um, Feral Publications they have a YouTube channel they reviewed this and they said it was pretty good so definitely want to check that out these are some zines that I got from this really cool online distro called the world's only goth zine distro <laughs> crap pandemic this is like a little flyer of all the stuff they have in their shop I'll put their info down below um, but I got homies because this reminded me of one of my friends that dressed up um, in the ICP makeup for a Halloween show once and just reminded me of them and it's like about their lyrics a track by track glimpse at the power of wicked clown love so that's fun um, this is a little Perzine, Do You Still Hate Me, a zine about social anxiety and growing up by Maria. And it's neat because it just is like straight out of their notebook and their like own handwriting. So it's just like reading someone's diary basically. Um, so that was cool. Got that from the store as well. If I come across something else I got from them, I will show you. Um, these are two zines I got from my um, online zinester pal um, David laundry room one and laundry room two um, these look really cool I haven't got the chance to check these out yet they started writing the note in July and then got my new address and sent it to me in September so that's fun um, but what's cool about them is they were a part of Street Cat Zine Vest um, 4 in 2020 when it was online for the first time. And they were one of the online exhibitors. And then we just like stayed Zine Pals after that. So that's cool. Um, this is a really cool zine. I found out about them through the zine discord that I was a part of. Um, some cool little nice zine art this is a I put a little reminder when I got it because they just get in that pile like I talked about and I forget so this is from July 2021 um, this is from Australia and this scene's called all of my mistakes um, but they uh, like abbreviate it O I mean a o m m all of my mistakes so it's a it's a cool zine um, they also sent me along this little tiny zine of Polaroids. That's really neat. 
they sent me this cool collage but I was actually um, a contributor in this issue so it's nice of them to send me they sent me two it's called the moving house edition it's all about moving and I was getting ready to move when they like put out the call for it so I contributed a little page and that's my little page there so it's pretty cool and it has everyone's like info that contributed some nice more little butterfly stamps that's some random junk mail oh and this is another cool zine I got from David they make um, a zine called synapse a zine about mental health this is issue issue three and they invite anyone to like contribute and add stuff um, I think each zine might have a different theme so they they normally post like it when they're getting ready to have a call for for people to send stuff in so definitely check that out if you're interested in contributing um, this is paranoia zine from California just like zine and music reviews I don't think this is number 51 yeah I haven't got to read that yet either this also um, I think it was David I'm not sure but one of my zine friends shared this on Instagram um, and it looked really cool but I haven't got the chance to read that either it comes with it comes with a little poster um, this is neat my t-shirt shows everything and it's all about music t-shirts they own. It's just like a little one sheet, but that's in there. So yeah, check that out. Let's see, um, got some mail from Fair Publications. This is from July. I won one of their little giveaways, and then I also ordered some stuff, I think. Uh, but this is Fair Comics number 12. It's got like a nice co color cover there but they're just like underground comics um, from different contributors, pretty cool stuff. And they normally send just like some stickers and mini zines when they send stuff. So I got a little Feral Comics sticker. That's from Tim. Oh, some solid, solid per zine, Ken Chronicles. Always fun read, interesting read. I've been following Ken since the We Make Zine days. So, if you remember that. <laughs> oh, this is another zine I got from the online distro of Crap Pandemic, Workaholics Anonymous. These are some really neat zines. Um, I think I've been getting these for almost, I don't know if it's been a year, but it's been a while. But everything is so much. They're normally once a month. Um, I think I need to update my address since I moved, but they just send them out. I don't even know how I got on the mailing list, but I did. Different um, artwork, little poetry, just short and sweet. They're normally like on really neat paper like this. It's pretty. Um, so those are really cool. Check that out. They're on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. This is from Pterodactyl. Um, she's one of my zine pals, art pals on Instagram. But they make this like really awesome cool stationery. So just like really cool stuff like that. Stickers. I won one of their giveaways and also I just um, traded with them. This is a neat little all about the like zinester kind of top five movies and books. Random facts about me. Just kind of neat little thing there it's a cool idea do a little about the zinster that's from July a nice little protective sheet Put that back in there. so that is all of my zine pile zine stack that I have oh I did have I have a new zine that I got um, I wanted to pop out. I'll grab it. Just came recently, actually. Um, this one is from the UK. Um, cool, like, Royal Mail sticker. But this is called Ugly Love 9. Kind of like a Perzine. Uh, 
um, pictures, poetry. I've enjoyed it so far. Um, that's where I'm at in the zine. But that's cool. Check that out. I'm pretty sure that one of my friends shared that. And that's how I saw it as well. Neat little bookmark. Ugly Love, a zine for cool people. Established in 2012. That's neat. So there's that. Been reading that. This is this is from October 2021. This got sent to my old address, but made it here. So that's cool. I think this is from Ken. Oh yeah, awesome. The Ken Chronicles 61. Haven't seen this one yet, so that's cool. Pictures and what they've been up to and Hope you enjoyed all this beautiful zine zineness, and I will be back with some more videos when I get some more zine mail. Bye.